Okay people, so here is the situation. This is the existing shaft which has come for repair to our workshop. If you haven't seen the whole uh, preceding video up till this point, I will link, link it up on the top right corner of this particular video. There will be a card which will pop up. You can go and have a look at uh, how we repaired it. So this is the original shaft and this is the extra piece, the piece which has been turned but not thread. We we'll thread it from this end up till over here where the joint lies, right? So the problem is when we start threading from this end up till uh, this end, up till this point, the thread might not match with the, the existing thread on the shaft. The thread, the location of the thread might not match the existing thread. So I'll show you exactly what I mean. So, so the lead screw has been meshed with the half nuts and have a look at the tool. We are going ahead with the carriage. See, the tool is crossing our existing thread. If we go ahead and uh, change the thread on the broken piece, the thread will cross the existing thread. It is bang on the crest of this particular thread, the highest point. That's not what we want. We want our tool to be in between, in between the two, two threads. I'll show you. So our tool, tool is right on, on the crest, right on the crest route right now. We don't want our tool to be there. We want the tool to be between this crest and this crest. Between this, this, these two crests, it should be right at the trough, right at the bottom of the thread between these two threads so how are we going to achieve that now let's turn the machine on but machine is on what we need to do is we need to keep an eye on the thread dial right where the arrow mark is there that's where we'll engage the thread dial we have reached our arrow mark and we have engaged the half nuts with the lead screw right half nuts have been engaged with the lead screw Let's have a look at where the tool is. The tool is right at the crest of the thread. It is crossing the thread, right? At this point, we need to switch off the machine. Okay? The machine is needed to be switched off. So we have switched off the machine right now. But look at our at our uh, lead screw end we have not disengaged this lever our lead screw lead screw is still engaged with the half nuts and the lever is engaged okay you need to turn off the machine with the lever engaged with the lead screw engaged with the half nuts this is very important otherwise you are going to end up with a mess here we are with the tool we need to we need to get this tool between these two threads not at the top of this thread we need it between these two threads what we'll do is we'll, we'll take the compound slide and we will move ahead as we go ahead you can see we are going ahead right and at this point we have come we have come right in between the two threads we have adjusted the co compound slide and we have come right in between these two threads the tool is bang in the middle if we go ahead with the cross slide see the tool is bang in between the two threads that's where we want our tool to be right so our uh, adjustment with the tool has been made now uh, again i am going to show you the lead screw is still engaged with the half nuts right before we turn on the machine we have to disengage the lever we have to disengage the lever and keep an eye on the position of the threading dial keep an eye on the position of the threading dial okay and then we can turn the machine on now as we turn the machine on you will find that the thread dial has started to move again because it is not engaged because the half nuts are not engaged with the lead screw now we need to 
take our carriage back carriage take the carriage back to where we want to and we can engage the thread dial on the arrow we can engage the thread dial on the arrow chase the thread and we will match the existing nut the existing thread on the shaft okay so now that our machine is all set up we have uh, corrected the position of the tool we are starting to we are starting to chase this thread and you will see when we come from when we come from this end up till here our uh, the location of our of our thread is going to match with the location of this existing thread We are bang right at where we want to. After we placed our tool properly using the compound slide, we are we have matched the existing thread exactly as we want to. Okay, so this is the second pass, and see, we are bang on target. Our tool is right between the existing thread, bang on target. This method works perfectly fine. your lead or you need to uh, come back and uh, repair a broken uh, shaft which has a thread that's how you adjust it you adjust it with the compound slide keep in mind the compound slide has to be parallel to the axis of the machine the compound slide needs to be parallel you cannot feed in with the compound slide if you want to use this method right so that's one negative of this method you have to keep the compound slide parallel to the axis of the machine that way you have to feed in with the cross slide you have to feed you have to feed in your cut with the cross slide and uh, you cannot uh, you cannot set the compound slide to an angle you cannot set the compound slide slide uh, like that to an angle and feed in your cut using the compound slide you have to use your cross slide right so that's how we set if you want to if you want to feed in with your compound slide you want to make the compound slide taper and feed in with that what you have to do is you have to basically disengage your chuck the chuck has to be disengaged with the spindle and you have to rotate the chuck right if you disengage the chuck with the spindle and rotate the chuck and the thread comes in between uh, the tool comes in between two threads then you are good to go that's how you uh, set the machine up if you want to use the compound slide to feed in let me know if you want to uh, if you want me to make a video on uh, that particular method the second method which i am talking about disengaging the chuck and adjusting the uh, thread that way if you want me to make a video on that let me know i'll do so so thanks a lot for watching this video do let me know your thoughts and comments in the comments section down below please share the video if you think it was useful with your friends and co-workers subscribe to the channel i'll have a lot of other mechanical engineering related machining videos in the coming few days and uh, My name is Abhinav. It was great having you for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.